Yo, what's going on guys? It is Cynical, and today for you guys, I'm doing another sort of uh, video game discussion. Today, I wanted to talk about the 2015 Ratchet & Clank game. A lot of people are confused about this new Ratchet & Clank uh, take on the series. So, today I thought I would uh, pretty much answer a few things and basically sort of discuss about it whether I believe it's going to be good for the series or not. So if you guys don't know, this year at E3, Insomniac confirmed that they were going to be rebooting the Ratchet & Clank series. Now, a lot of people were confused about this. Is it just a remaster of the old games, or is it just fully a new reboot? And a lot of people were wondering, is this just Ratchet & Clank 1 sort of redone with uh, better visuals and stuff for the PlayStation 4? Well, the answer to that is no. If you guys don't know, Insomniac are currently working alongside the uh, producers who are creating the uh, the Ratchet & Clank movie that is set to come out next year, as well as the reboot of the new Ratchet & Clank game. So, this new game, it's not a remaster, it's not just uh, Ratchet & Clank 1, but just with upgraded visuals or whatnot, not something like, uh, say, Halo 1 or Halo 2 Anniversary, you know, it's just the same game, better visuals. It's a complete and utter reboot of the series and of the franchise, and basically what Insomniac wanted to do is they wanted to reboot the game, of course, with new mechanics and whatnot, but it follows the sort of uh, the storyline of the movie. So, uh, basically, it's going to be uh, sort of like a fully new game in a way and, and I know like a lot of people have been saying why not just make another Ratchet and Clank just continue on with the series and I'm sort of one for that you know uh, a big lingering question of mine is you know are Insomniac just going to forget everything that's happened to Ratchet and Clank you know all their current adventures that they've had and just start fresh I mean that's so much history that uh, both Ratchet and Clank have been through and it, it, it just seems sort of strange to just throw that to the side and just reboot it straight up. But of course, with this reboot, of course, it means that there's going to most likely be uh, more Ratchet and Clank games after, you know, after the reboot, so maybe in 2016 or 17. Uh, we'll see Ratchet and Clank 2, the rebooted version or something like that. And of course, I would say that there would probably be a movie that would follow up to that because of the fact that this reboot is going to follow the events that happen in the movie. Um, I'd say the same is going to happen for any sequels that get released um, in the future. But my question to you guys is, are you looking forward to this new Ratchet & Clank reboot? I know I am, apparently it's been said that uh, this reboot of Ratchet & Clank is going to push the PS4 um, and um, it's going to push it to its limits and use um, most of its hardware to make it look absolutely superb and it's going to be up there with some of the best looking PS4 games um, on the market right now and you know Honestly, like, the Ratchet & Clank games that were released on the PS3, the more later ones, like uh, Into the Nexus and whatnot, those games look absolutely beautiful and like crack in time, so I can't wait to see what Insomniac uh, are gonna do with, uh, you know, um, the, the rebooted version of Ratchet & Clank on the PS4, because, of course, if you compare the hardware on the PS3 to the PS4, there's really no comparison. I mean, the PS4 is an absolute beast when you compare it to the PS3. So they've got so much more, like, uh, you know, opportunity to make the game look extra crisp and extra nice. Of course, graphics aren't everything, but they've already confirmed that uh, basically it's going to be one of the better looking games on the PS4. And that's what I'm really, really, really looking forward to. Also, I'm really interested to see, uh, you know, a new take on Ratchet's adventures and stuff and, you know, seeing the difference and comparing, you know, the very first Ratchet and Clank game to the rebooted uh, first game. Um, see how, you know, um, whether or not Ratchet and Clank's relationship uh, is going to be the same as it was in the very first game on PS2 because, of course, in the first game it was very important um, studying Ratchet and Clank's relationship. Of course, they're just, you know, two, two, two uh, things that uh, uh, you know just met and stuff and of course through their first adventure they had a bit of a rough relationship um, you know Clank being a little bit naive at times, Ratchet getting pissed off with them so I wonder if those same sort of points in the very first game are going to uh, cross over into the rebooted uh, game 
and I'm very interested to see how um, similar the very first uh, game is going to be related with the rebooted uh, game as well. But I know for for me personally, I'm looking forward to the reboot. I don't think it's an, like necessarily a bad thing. I am just a little bit worried because it's sort of it is sad to see uh, Insomniac sort of just throwing away. Uh, you know, Ratchet's um, current adventures and whatnot. Uh, that's what a lot of people are sort of, you know, a little bit like angry about. But really, I'm not complaining. I can't wait to see the new Ratchet and Clank movie that's going to be coming out, uh, you know, next year. It's been such a long time since Ratchet and Clank's been going. And honestly, it does deserve a movie. Insomniac have been wanting this to happen for a very long time now. And I think Ratchet and Clank is a perfect fit for a, uh, you know, a CGI animated uh, film. So I can't wait to see the movie and I can't wait to play the reboot of the series. Um, my question to you guys is, are you guys looking forward to this new Ratchet & Clank reboot? Hopefully we get to see some gameplay at E3 next year or sometime soon. I'm really looking forward to it and it's definitely going to be a reason for me to pick up the PS4. Anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.